Well, hello everyone, welcome back to Elden Ring and side quest and playframe and all that. Does anyone smell something burning? Yes, welcome back once again to my on fire house. Come on in. Please take off your shoes. Anyway, we're back here because I wanted to read item descriptions. We got a remembrance last time and I forgot. So... The Sword Lance. What? A weapon once wielded by Commander Gaius, a combination of great sword and lance. Weighty and capable of being brought to bear with great force, this armament shows its true potential when used to stride a mount. Gaius himself was never without his boar. Gravity thrust. Spinning gravity thrust, even. A gravity skill honed by the disciples of an alabaster lord. Uses gravitational power to hang in the air before rotating the body and charging forward. An additional input allows for a follow-up attack. We actually get to do that, are you kidding? That might be something we have to do. Alternatively, Blades of Stone. Gravity manipulating sorcery of Commander Gaius. Pulls blade-like clumps of rock from the earth. Charged to form three successive clumps. Gaius and Radon were good rivals in their youth, and this sorcery is a product of their friendly competition. Neat. Uh, but also, yeah, that's not a thing I can use, and that is. So, our choice is made. Also, I was probably going to choose this anyway, because spinning gravity thrust. Absolutely. Okay, wait. There was something in there. Gaius's armor. I'm so used to looking in here and seeing nothing. Well, hooray. It's probably very heavy. Oh, and we've already got the feet part of it, of course. So, uh... The Black Iron Gauntlets of Commander Gaius, part of an armor set patterned after fallen seeds. Gaius was the most senior disciple of the same alabaster lord who taught Radon and Gaia gravitational technique. Th there's another one named... Concerns me. Yeah. Might be an issue later. Don't know if we ever read this size of rune. Rune of an unsung hero. Golden remnants of the grace bestowed upon heroes who fell in the realm of shadow. The great heroes of the war were richly blessed by the grace of the Erd Tree, but were not honored in death. Well. Now we've done our reading. And if I had more runes on me, I would probably upgrade that sword lance a bit. Let's go get some more runes by wandering and exploring. Because I do feel like that's a toy that we should play with at least a little bit. Where will we be exploring, though? Well, I think... My best bet of where to start is... Mm, yeah. Here. I have been alerted to the existence of two things in the early areas of this keep. Oh, relatively early. A ladder pretty close to this area that I didn't spot. That's somewhat important. And somewhere, maybe after the ladder or maybe in a different part, there is apparently an illusory wall. And if group messages were working, I'm sure we'd have spotted that dog already, but... Since we haven't got them... I might just have to go whacking walls a little bit. So where's this ladder hiding? Hold still. There's the ladder. Okay, okay. Alrighty then. This might be where the illusory wall is, because I'm not seeing a lot of other places to safely go. Well... Still might be, though. We should probably check while we're here, right? What's the harm in a little pop? Just to be certain. Huh? A 
How far does this go? Far enough for a shiny. And maybe another opening behind a waterfall. Nope. Okay, all right. Let's go down that other ladder. I'm very curious. People seemed to feel that this detour was rather important. doing this all day now. Ooh. A lot of cages, and that might be... That might be our... Yeah. Oh, you can even see it's been, like... cemented over. In a sort of roughshod way. Hmm... Domain of Dragons painting. Work of a wandering artist, reminiscent of a painting titled Domain of Dragons. This painter is said to have captured the landscape seen during the last moments of those welcomed into death's embrace. The soul of the painter and vestiges of the dead's last moments can be discovered by visiting the location depicted even now. I don't think I even found the other painting location that we... Like, the painting we found in the earliest weeks of this playthrough. Still haven't found that spot, I don't think. But I bet this... Yeah. Here we go. Whatever this is, they wanted it walled up at some point, and oh, are we going for another coffin ride? Here we go! Be a shame to waste a perfectly good coffin. Best nap of your life. Where has this brought me? Hmm. Ooh, this is how we get down here. I see. And perhaps even once we're down here, we can figure out a way to Get around to all this. Good. It's amazing how much this keep is the gate to so much of the rest of the world. It's like everything past this line. If you want to reach any of it. <laughs> Gotta get inside the keep. It's amazing. Well, uh, let's show ourselves around. Let's look back here first. Um, I don't know if that's entirely true, game. I mean, maybe technically, but not in a way that matters. Don't be pedantic, game. Nobody likes the well technically guy. Hmm. 
A lot of wrecked furnace golems down here. And one that might not be wrecked? It's standing up more, but it's definitely not lit. I don't know if that means it's actually dead, though. Nice being able to stock up on these, I guess. I feel like that one... That one's gonna attack. On fire or no, that one's gonna be an issue. Because I can summon right now, and that suggests to me... Oh. Not what I expected. I mean, what I expected, but not where. And me without my pest threads. Hang on. Let me go fetch him. If I have to fight at least one of these things... I am doing it optimally. Just wait a minute. Gotta get my stuff. Okay. Now we're a little more kitted out for this kind of nonsense. Don't want to have to fight more of these things. But if I have to, by gosh. I'm gonna make it quick. Whew, boy, yeah, it can stack up very fast, given you can cast these pretty quickly. Hope we survive this. Ooh. Oh boy. That was very close. Yowch. Come on, we've almost got him. Hope I got enough FP for it. Fall over! Did that do it? I think it did. Thank goodness. Alright. Got it! Alright. That burned through all FP. Ooh, oil soaked tear. Tell me of it. A crystal tear formed slowly over the ages, where the scattered sap of the Shadow Tree pools deep within the furnace golems. The resulting concoction temporarily causes the imbiber to break out in an oily sweat, soaking nearby enemies in oil. Oil-soaked enemies are highly susceptible to fire damage. Nifty. I'm gonna go rest again, because I have a suspicion that's not the last of these... I'm going to have to deal with here. It might be, but... I see that one over there. And I do not trust it. No, I do not. Perhaps we'll just go right up and ask. Huh? Yeah. Ruins of Unte. Hey! Who'd have thought?
That's a nice relief. Glad it's not waking up. Let's explore some ruins. Pretty dead down here. Wait a minute, you can kind of get underneath this one. And there is ghost. No, you don't. Don't. I guess there's usually ghosts in these little town ruins. I'm so glad I learned about the pest thread thing for fighting those guys. It's still not a fun fight. It's kind of a shame there are so many of them. Or I guess it's a shame that they are not a very fun fight, given there are so many of them. Don't know if you can jump in there, but I do kind of want to try. It's clearly what these messages want me to try. Ah. Oh. Denied. Glad lots of the ghosts aren't hostile. At least. Some of them are, obviously, but... It's nice that some aren't. Hmm, how do I get in there? It might be that there was just a better spot to jump to. Rather than trying to get inside the furnace. Or there might just be another little hole in the wall. the furnace golems down here. Is this just where they're disposed of? Could be, but that feels slightly too simple as an answer. I sort of feel like jumping in that thing. Is what they're guiding you toward, but... Hmm. Nope. That's not how to do the jump. Let's ride around the outside. I'm, I'm starting to feel like we might have better luck finding the opening that way. Kind of seemed like the game did not want me jumping in the furnace golem's head. Is there a way on top of this? Because that could also be another possible route. Eh. Hmm. Hmm. 
searching, searching. Then again, it does look like they're just sort of leading us toward a jump here. At the top of that thing. So, yeah, let's... I'll try the jump one more time. Just in case. Okay, nope, 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 nope. <laughs> Game says no. Hmm. Puzzling. Is there a way to move that thing? Or, perhaps, actually, I have another idea. I have one other idea. And I kind of hate this idea, because I... It makes sense, and it might work, and it might mean that I have to fight another... Furnace Golem here, but... Tragically, this might work. So... And... Nope, nope, nope. I need one of... Well, maybe a cheaper one would work. Let's try that first. Yeah. Just some regular fire to start. Haha! -ha. Nah, let's try an actual proper. Big, hefty, well. I guess hefty furnace pot's the only kind, huh? It's not a regular furnace pot. No. Okay, alright. Works for me. I have a hunch that this is going to work, and I don't like it. Yep. There we are. There we are. Okay. So be it. Now. Not what I meant to do. Okay, back to this. Almost fall over and do not grab. Whew, okay, that was close. Here we go. We got our system. Blood sucking cracked tear. Hmm. The resulting concoction temporarily increases attack power, but drains HP over time. My, my. Neat. I wonder if, in this case, if I'd thrown two hefty pots back-to-back -back really quickly, if that would have, uh, done more damage. Probably not. I'm guessing you couldn't damage it until it finished its stand-up animation, but... Even so. Alright, well. I've figured out how to get in. Kind of pretty in here.
A lot of little thin beast bones around. Probably because of all the fire that was, um, blasting everywhere. Sorry, little animals. I wasn't thrilled about it myself. Giant Golden Ark. Ooh. Sorcery of the Inquisitors of the Tower, wielded as an incantation of the Spiral. A swing of the arm releases a giant golden arc. Charging enhances potency. The arc resembles the barb, a known symbol of coercive questioning. And that's a faith one. All right, I can try that one out. I did check. I checked the, uh, the faith requirements for all the remaining incantations that I'm wanting to be able to access. Ooh. Hello. I only need 52 faith, it sounds like, so that's great. Examine altar. Raise the sword of light to the dark. Ooh. Interesting. Do I want to? I kind of do. I'm just too curious. Hopefully this is a thing that you can just reverse that you can just kind of go back and forth on. But, um, I'm too curious to see what this, uh, results in. Yeah. Sword of Darkness plus nine now. Cool. Sword of Darkness pulled from its stone scabbard at an altar. From the quick of the root, wandering coils of darkness coalesce and release, their eddies and vortices giving form to the dark blade. And its skill is darkness. Raise the sword aloft, cleave surroundings with darkness, deals holy damage, and temporarily reduces holy damage negation. Cool. That honestly might just be a little better. That's interesting. What a cool sword. Let me finish checking this place for items, and then I want to go somewhere and see what that skill looks like. We didn't really find a great opportunity for using the light skill. At least not in a situation that would have been more ideal. Ooh, also this. I feel like we gotta have enough for another... Another upgrade on that front. Okay, let's... let's see this. Whoa! -ho -ho -ho. That's a cool toy. A little expensive on the FP side, but that's a cool toy. Now here's a question. Can we explore further? Sure looks like yes. Probably better go ahead and rest. We could use the recharge. Can I still... hang on. Need four of them now. I haven't quite got enough. Let's swap this back to... that. Okay. How far can we go in this direction? Yeah. I jumped at exactly the wrong spot. Good way to get a quick preview of down here, I guess. I think we've been down here. Probably should have been riding Torrent anyway. Torrent would have prevented that. Yep. There they go. <laughs> been there. I can relate. Oh, 
okay, good. More of you. Good, good, good. Yeah. Goodness. That almost messed up my jump very badly. Okay. I'm gonna just leave y'all alone. I'm sure I'll be fighting plenty of you soon. Hmm. Yeah, probably gonna be fighting plenty of things soon. Including some of y'all, because I need this item. Probably better swords for this situation, but it'll do. Well, y'all are in quite a cluster. Thanks. That helped. Uh huh. Okay, okay. Hey, another one. Dang. How generous they're being. Where are we now? Okay, yeah, we're making our way. Awesome. Very cool. I am gonna have to jump for this, aren't I? Maybe not, maybe not. Maybe not. Or maybe like, yes, but not that way. This way seems better. Despite the bug. Still don't like it. But this way does seem better. Regardless. Yeah. Let's get this off the hotbar. Is there a different weapon I'd like to have right now? I feel like there might be. Well, we did just get this new sword, but let's also swap in... Hmm. Actually, no, I was going to say let's swap in Milady again, but it is nice having something a bit heavier for staggering the big guys if we run into a big guy. Milady does not seem to do that quite so well. I think we're doubling back this way now. I have no idea where this is leading. But I'm quite excited to have found this. Thank you all very much for the hints to start looking around in this general area. I think I even remember... Yeah, I remember getting down there. Yeah, it's the waterfall in the canyon space. And, yeah, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Or maybe I'm mixing it up with that. It doesn't matter. The point is we're here now. And who knows what sorts of wonderful and terrible things we'll find. Like there's something down there. That's a thing we can dread. And a whole flock of grave birds over here who are about to be very cross. When I don't stop to fight them. Do you guys not have any shinies out here? Why? I feel you should. Oh, there's one down there, I see. Huh. Okay. Fine. Sword seems to do pretty good against y'all anyway. Oh. 
Bonk. Bonk. All right. There. It's my graveyard now. I don't even want it. Ooh. I shall find my center under the cascading waters. What? That's interesting. Dry leaf seal. Ooh. Is it Dane we're following down here? I think it might be. Sacred seal of the spiritual seekers known as the dry leaf sect. Enhances incantations which conjure golden rings of light. Really? Now that is a toy I want. Those who saw the decline of the Erd tree and the fallen leaves long ago braced themselves for the weakening of order and embraced a strict faith. And then they made to serve a new god. Yeah, I think I'm going to need to upgrade that. It's the Frisbee Seal. It's perfect for me. I feel like this is going to hurt. A little bit. Well, maybe not. Okay. And now we are here. I should definitely ride up this way, because we've not gotten to this part with the waterfall, at least. I have this feeling this is going to open up all of the rest of this stuff now. Uh, what? Oh, it's... okay. You scared me there. You're just goo. I thought I was in trouble for a second. Now, there might be something else down here, in addition to goo, that might be a problem. All the plants, for one. Might be good to get our fire sword ready, huh? That might be smart. Ooh, two of them. Huzzah! It's a sturdy one, too. Eh, whatever. It's poison. Who cares? Unless it's a worse kind of poison, which... I've heard mention of deadly poisons. Maybe that's what this is. Hopefully not. I really appreciate that the fire kind of burns out the, uh... Poison clouds in the air. Oh, boy. No, I think that might just be regular poison. Which is not that big a concern. Thank goodness. Look out. Hey. Can't reach back there. Cheater. America, the flowers are cheating. Go away. What a dangerous profession gardening must be in this world. 
There we go. Okay. Dale? You down here? Buddy? Um. Hey, nice. You hiding in the waterfall? I saw a message about a waterfall and I was just wondering. I don't think you're here. Kind of seems like no. Maybe a different waterfall. Cool rocks down here. Okay. We checked that direction. We're being thorough. Okay. Now we go down this way, I think. Maybe he's under that waterfall. Oh. I see you there. Hey. Where are you going? Thank you. You slimes, I gotta quit scaring me with sounds. I keep thinking something... Oh. I keep thinking something much more... Dangerous is coming for me. Um... It's not really how I expected you to go out. I guess that might not be... That might not be Dane, it might just be another dry leaf. Slimes, this is what I think of your nonsense. Still not really worth the trouble, but... It's about sending a message. Hmm... Another way down here, I suppose. Seems like this is all leading down to this area, and then who knows? Goodness. This could lead anywhere. What a detour. Hey, hey! I knew we could dread something over here. And now our time has arrived. Uh, let's equip something large again, just in case that's better for the fight. Top off a bit. Okay. Eastern Nameless Mausoleum. What are we in for today? Rakshasa. A knight with a katana. And a lot of swings. Goodness gracious. Sword is not the answer for this one. No, 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 no. We need something to stagger them out of all those swings. We'll start with hammer, but we got bigger. 
If we need bigger, we got bigger. And we have all kinds of other mean tricks in our arsenal. Haha! -ha! That's right. This is going to work, I think. Goodness, though. If I can't interrupt you, you get in a lot of damage quick. I feel like we're fighting... I feel like we're fighting... the stereotypical Souls player build. <laughs> Armor or the katana? I'll be taking those, thank you. The problem is you are a little faster than me. Ugh. You don't have great reach, though. That's worth noting. Oof, okay, and yeah, you've got super armor on that stab. Maybe my jump attack can... Yeah, jump attack can stop you at least. Oof, yeah, you've... You're hard to interrupt. Oof. Quite tricky to interrupt. Oof. Gracious. It's okay, we have other tricks. A variety of other big weapons which might do even better at disrupting their whole deal. Let's see how this one does. Excuse me. It was time out. Excuse me. I wasn't ready. There. That's what I think of your nonsense. Wish I did more damage, but... This might interrupt their attack nonsense, at least. If nothing else, it does some good damage, and it stops him. Yeah, okay, okay. Just needed to go big weapon. That's the trick. Surprised that didn't knock you down. Oof. You're terrible. Yeah. There we go. Buy myself a second. Yeah, that's right. You're out of nonsense. And I most definitely am not. Yep. Yeah, whenever you do that stomp, you've... Got all the poise in the world. Yeah. Ah, we did better that time, though. We can get him. We're not even really making use of spells yet, and that's a possibility. I, I get a feeling that claw attack stuff is not going to stop these attacks and just leave me extremely susceptible, but we can try. And of the spells I have on me... Breath could start things off pretty well. Like, I could see some spells kind of doing okay, but you don't... You don't get a lot of good openings for 
cast times with this punk. Whew. Yo, yeah, this is not... Yeah, yeah, no, the claws are doing nothing to stop that attack onslaught. We need the big hits. It's kind of neat they found a way to, like... They found a way to create a specific subset of invasions, effectively, like boss fights uh, with or duels with other NPCs similar to you. And they, like, set it up in a way where you can't run from it, like, it's a boss arena, and you also can't use your spirit ash in there, so you have to, like, you do have to solve and win a duel. All entirely optional, but, like, for just having a handful in the world as a different kind of challenge, that's pretty cool. Let's see how this works. I don't think it's going to work as well as I need it to. Nope. <laughs> I didn't think they were going to let me cheese like that, but I figured we had to try, because if that worked, imagine. No, I think the big sword is the answer. Possibly also with an initial cast of Rotten Butterflies is going to be too slow, and I don't trust it's going to hit. If we want Rot, I think the Breath is the way to do that. We could try the Lightning Spear, but I don't think we're going to have a lot of room for those. Pest Threads could... Stagger him, maybe, but... Let's see how the spear does up front. Eh, I'm curious. Eh, didn't grab him. Curses. No. Grab the thing. You're obnoxious. Does okay. It's not the most damage. And it can dodge a lot of it. Yeah. Not quite enough. Yeah, no. Too susceptible to nonsense. Hmm. Rocks. Yep, going over your head. No good. Nah. We're going to fight regular, and then... in future... Rotten Breath is how we're starting the fight. So that I don't have to survive you as long. That feels better, doesn't it? Yes, it does. And I'll equip the talisman that strengthens my jumping attacks. And all will be well. That's right. Punk. Nope. Haha. <laughs> My jump attack was better. Ah, he beat me on that one. I do love that move. May not do like the most damage, but I do love it. Eesh. What was I even trying there? Oof. Just love spamming that move. We're gonna get you. Yes, we are. Boom. There we go.
Rakshasa's great katana. Ooh. And Rakshasa helm? It's a cool set and everything. Greaves of Rakshasa soaked the spurting blood of her victims. Tatters of ragged cloth jut out haphazardly as if her lust for carnage threatens to break free. Increases damage dealt to foes, but greatly increases damage taken by the wearer. Didn't seem like it to me. Cut down and devour. Only those who repeat the cycle without rest can truly subvert the self and become Rakshasa. I feel like we found the Lady Jingle armor, that's for sure. A great katana with the tempering pattern of its blade forever stained red with blood. Weapon of Rakshasa, who cuts down and devours. A berserker's weapon, used to endure enemy attacks and reply with one's full fury. When attacking, the wielder's less likely to stagger from counterattacks, but will also take increased damage. Again, I noticed the first thing, not so much the second. But Weed Cutter. Performs scythe-like horizontal swings with a sword, cutting men down as if they were weeds. Additional inputs allow for the continuation of the attack for as long as stamina remains. So I noticed. Also this. Dry leaf croissards. Sun faded and lightly soiled travel attire worn by clergymen. Wound tightly around the arms as if it might prevent them from being broken. The gold necklace found under the breast belongs to a group of spiritual seekers known as the Dry Leaf Sect. This sect rejects dependence on others in all matters of faith, seeking self discipline and self sufficiency above all else. Neat. Well, that was a fight. You know, I never thought to check. It would have been cool if these were actually also a place that you could double or like duplicate remembrances. Gotta win the duel first. To have the option. I see a hippo. But not an easy way down. At least not over here, I guess. There was that other side. And also, I should at least glance over here. Mm, nope. Definitely need to call it a day, but first... I want to get to the next Grace Fire. And get a better look at what it is we will be exploring next. Okay, we're gonna have to do jumps. Yep, okay. Wah! Scared me. Bug. Don't do that. Careful steps. Careful jumps. Nice and easy. That bug... The flying bug just die from fall damage. Embarrassing. It's gotta be a grace fire down here. Somewhere. There's a hippo, obviously, but that is not a grace fire in any way. Hmm. Anything back here? No, okay. Wait, there's a message, but nah. Let us sidestep the hippo. I don't need to fight another one. Certainly not two of them. I'm good. Certainly for today. Let's 
Let's keep looking this way. Hmm. Something down here. Down... Probably this way. This is where we need to be. The opposite side. Okay. All right. Don't mind me. Creatures large and small. I'm passing through. Not looking for a fight. I just had a pretty big one. And I'm good. Couldn't eat another bite. I did just sort of look over here earlier, though. Hmm. There's something down here. This area is too big. And kind of empty. I don't trust it. There it is. That's what we're looking for. Not what I hoped to find, necessarily, but... That's what we're looking for. Okay. Steady. Steady. Easy does it. Okay. That, ah, nope. Vulgar militia, lots of them. Hiding in the grass. Lots of them. Hide the catacomb. Yee. Dark light catacombs, we're here. Wherever this is. Y'all go away, I want to open my map. Shoo. Goodness, that's a lot of them. Here's what I think of all of you. Ah. My poison wins. Nerds. Ah, oh, here's where we are. Lovely. Well. Okay, that's going a long way down. Very fast. I guess we're exploring this next week. Very excited. Y'all have a good weekend. And I will see you Monday for the Dark Light... For the Dark Light Catacombs. Boy, they weren't kidding. <laughs> uh, have a good weekend. Bye!